Recently I needed a pull handle for a small engine and I wasn't real crazy about the uh, country of origin on there so I decided I was going to make my own out of some plastic and uh, so I went and I made a mold all I did was take a uh, large diameter pipe here I uh, split it in half took another uh, piece of pipe I drilled a hole in there and on the on the bottom of the smaller pipe I went and I welded on a knockout from a electrical box and then I took and welded some uh, little flanges on there this is what it turned out like um, and what I'm going to do is take some HDPE plastic that's uh, what you get from milk jugs uh, but what I'm going to use I found out that works a lot better is uh, shopping bags okay you want to work in a very well ventilated area and you do not want to breathe in any of the fumes so uh, if you're going to attempt to do this you've been warned don't want uh, any health problems there from you guys uh, I did have a lid also that I will take and clamp down with a C-clamp and wait till it's uh, fully hardened so what now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take one of these grocery sacks here place it in my mold and I take a propane torch and heat that up until it melts a little bit then I'm going to uh, take a little ramrod here and jam it down into the bottom Okay, now that I got five bags melted in there, I'm going to uh, put my lid on there, take a C-clamp, and tighten that down. Okay, now that I have that C-clamp in there, I'm going to let it uh, solidify. Okay, it's been several minutes. I'm going to uh, take my C-clamp off here. Still pretty warm, but uh, it's starting to solidify here. So what I want to do is uh, just heat this up a little bit. It's going to smoke a little bit, uh, and then I'm going to uh, take and pop my top cover off. Okay, now that we heated that lid up, it uh, melts the plastic a little bit. We're going to let it cool. And then what I'm going to do is uh, drill a little hole in the middle here. And then I'm going to take a tap and then tap a hole in there. And then put a machine screw in there. Okay, now that I have that uh, machine screw in there, I'm going to heat up the mold again. And I'm going to put a pliers on here and just going to heat the mold up enough to get it to release. And then I'm going to pull it out by that machine screw. Oh, 
Okay, when you first pull it out, it is pretty rubbery. And it's cooled down now, so I'm going to take and remove a little machine screw here. I'm going to place it in the vise, and I'm going to drill a hole all the way through. Next, I'm going to flip it around, and where I have that hole there, I'm going to take a larger drill bit and uh, drill it down part way for our knot to be uh, recessed in there. Okay, we got our hole there, and now I'm going to take an angle grinder with a flap wheel. Since this is pretty rough here, I'm going to uh, smooth it out a little bit, and then we're all done. Put some eye protection on. Okay, I'm all done here. I know it was a lot of work. Uh, I did it more for entertainment purposes and experimenting. Hopefully if uh, somebody works in the plastic industry and molding and uh, that can maybe put some comments on there on some tips on what to do better and uh, hope you enjoyed this video.